Okay, so basically in one essay I got Hi lovelies, welcome to another day in my life. In today's video, I open some uni results live on camera, which I'm very scared about. As always guys, please do subscribe to my channel. I can't believe there's now over 2000 of you. I'm so grateful and remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. So at 9.28, I log into my first Zoom session of the day, which is my health inequalities module. I find this so interesting. And as you can see, I'm also eating my bagel with Marmite on as I join, which has to be one of the perks of online Zoom. So at this point, one of the guys in the Zoom said something a little bit strange and a bit odd, and I didn't really know whether to laugh or, or cry, basically. I think lockdown three is really getting to some people, including myself. Coffee time, coffee time, coffee time, coffee time. So as you can hear from my beautiful singing, at 11.30 it is time for coffee. Um, I just use filtered coffee in my cafeteria and yeah, I take it black and I absolutely love coffee at this time. It just keeps me going until lunch. So at 11.45 after my uni is finished, I will write out my to-do list for the day. I just find this helps me so much get everything I need to do out of my brain onto some virtual paper. So I'm using Notion to do this. And yeah, you can see what I need to get done this afternoon. I'm just about to give a talk um, at a sit form schools, um, medical society sort of um, students who are thinking about applying to medicine so let me share my screen and i'll tell you who on earth i am this is the part where i feel like a 50 year old woman where i try and go into like presenter mode yeah so my name is tash <laughs> as you guys probably know i am a medical student at king's college london so yeah um anna asked me to talk to you guys about what studying at King's is like and some of the pros and cons of studying in London. One final thing I would say is that I think when you're at school or college it can feel like the be all and end all getting into medical school and um, I made myself really ill because I put so much pressure on myself to get in first time round but having sort of been there and now reflecting on it um, it's just not. So many of my friends who will make brilliant doctors, probably better doctors than me, um, didn't get in first time round. And you know, at the end of the day, if you do a different undergraduate degree and then do graduate medicine, it's only one more year compared to what I'm doing. Um, and you know, when you're sort of 17, 18, it feels like a race to become a doctor and start working, but it's really not. So, you know, obviously I have every confidence in you guys getting in, um, but, yeah, try and enjoy life and don't don't put so much pressure on yourself. So at 1.30, after giving my 20 minute talk to the sick form students, I finally have some lunch. Today's lunch is a pea and spinach soup with some really good tiger bread. I've really been loving a load of fresh crusty bread and a good old hearty bowl of soup. So while I was eating my lunch, I just watched some YouTube, um, lots of other medical student YouTubers, and then I settled down to do some uni work, some actual revision. If you haven't already downloaded the Forest app, you just have to. So over the years, I've worked out that doing questions, at least to start your revision session, is definitely what works for me. So I'm using QuizMed. This video isn't sponsored. I just genuinely like QuizMed. Um, I use PassMed as well, but I just, yeah, I think I prefer QuizMed. Um, I find the questions a bit more, um, they're more similar to the questions that kind of come up in my multiple choice question exams at King's. So as my degree this year is an IBSC in primary care, I just chose to do some questions in the general practice module. Um, and these questions that were coming up were mainly around um, contraception. And yeah, I realized that there was still a lot I needed to learn on the subject, but it was comforting to know that I could get a few questions right. As you can see, I'm getting this one right, which was very satisfying. And what I will do is I will just take some notes on my iPad 
in good notes as I'm going through. So I just went ahead and finished the next 20, 25 questions, which took me about half an hour. And then after I'd finished these, I just made a note of all the key things that I'd learn or the key things that I still needed to go over after having done these questions. And then I was actually so proud of myself that I got 60%. If you're a med student, you'll know that when you do questions, this rarely happens. So I think sometimes in medicine, you're kind of like, oh, there's so much to learn, I don't even know where to start. So I think a good way to start is by doing some questions. Um, and then it kind of draws your attention to what you do know and what you don't know. So I think probably because of my own personal experience, I know a lot about the combined oral contraceptive pill but I don't know much about the other forms of contraception. Um, I didn't even know there were like two main types of progesterone only pills. Um, yeah, so I would always sort of start my revision session like that between sort of half an hour and an hour worth of questions. I wouldn't like bombard myself as otherwise then there's just so many topics and it's like, oh no, I don't know loads of things. And then I'd probably spend an hour to two hours going over those topics, making notes, um, and then sort of repeating some questions on similar, on the similar topic. That's how I would kind of do it. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Sorry, I didn't film, but I just recorded a podcast episode with Emily, um, who is our dental student graduating professionals um, lead at Future Front Line. So then I moved to the sofa just to finish off some social media work. I still feel really bizarre actually saying this, but I just had to sign a contract for a upcoming ad that I'm doing. And then I just finished my day doing some admin, some emails and chatting to Alex on the sofa while he was finishing off some work as well, which was super nice. Okay, I've never done one of these, um, but I just got some uni coursework back. <laughs> I'm really nervous because I'm so bad at writing essays and my whole course this year is literally essay writing. So I thought, you know, now that I'm a YouTuber, let's just open up the results live. <laughs> I'm like sweating, my palms are literally sweating. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm actually gonna be sad if this was really bad. Okay, okay. Um, we yeah, have to write, it's not wonderful. Okay, so basically in one essay I got 66, which is like a two one, and then the other one I got 70, which is like just a first. Um, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> I'm kind of pleased with that. You know, I think I should be really proud of myself. Yeah, we'll take that. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's like up a state and I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, I hope this has been interesting. I will see you all another time. Bye everybody.